Hey everybody. I'd like to introduce you to a new system I created called Goes. Which essentially all it is is um, a wall system made for the Gridfinity tool system. <laughs> it's uh, Goes stands for Gridfinity Over Engineered Wall System. And um, it's based on Gridfinity spacing, which is 42, 42 across. Um, and it's made up of two main elements, uh, a sliding cleat lock and a secondary screw lock. And just wanted to give you a quick demo of how it works. So uh, the cleat lock is can be up to four hangers wide. In this case, um, I've used four in this demo. This is a, a Gridfinity shelf. So you can just take those of that shelf. You can put it into place. You start above it, you slide down, and it's held in place. And that's it. You don't need any fasteners. But if you are worried about it popping out, you can add one. So I have these little bolts. It has a little uh, winged head, but also has a hex drive on the middle. Uh, and then you can just, as long as I don't drop this, so you can just screw it in and secure it. And that shelf isn't going anywhere. It's also offset so that the head doesn't interfere if you put a Gridfinity cup in there. It won't get in the way. For example, I have this, this, this holder in here, and it clears just fine. In addition, there's other other standard elements like hooks or hanging uh, ta hanging holders for screwdrivers or whatever. Now, all this is completely open source. There's a uh, Fusion 360 files available. There's step files available, STLs. This is available on Maker World and Printables. The tiles, um, there's a parametric file, so you can create tiles of any size you need. The tiles are set up to have screw holes available all over the place. So that way you can mount it easily on your wall, whatever spacing you need. And hopefully people find this useful. Looking forward to seeing what people think of it. And... Uh, and what they do with it. Thank you.